Hello everybody, it's time for the answers for DD240. You guys did pretty good. I'm very impressed. There were some challenging parts and the pronunciation is always a challenge. So let me give you the answers. But before that, let's listen again. Listen carefully. Is it a crunchy donut or a creamy croissant? Actually, it's a cronut, and when it comes to foodies, it's the hottest item in New York City. Is it a crunchy donut or a creamy croissant? Actually, it's a cronut, and when it comes to foodies, it's the hottest item in New York City. Once again, you guys did great. Is it a... So, we see a picture. We see the picture, and you look at the picture, and the question is... Is it a crunchy donut or a creamy croissant? Okay, so crunchy and creamy, these are adjectives. Don't forget the Y sound. Crunchy donut, creamy croissant. Now, donut actually has two uh, spellings. We can also say D-O-U-G-H-N-U-T. Uh, we use both spellings. This one is actually correct, but it's the short version. So is it a crunchy donut? Mmm, sounds delicious. Or a creamy croissant. Now, the news reporter's pronunciation is very good. Croissant, croissant, something like that. But most Americans say croissant, croissant, croissant. I like a croissant. I'd like a croissant, please. So there are several pronunciations, but her pronunciation, very good. A creamy croissant. Croissant. Yes, I don't speak French. So, there is a difference between a donut and a croissant. But this picture looks strange. It looks like a donut, but then there's many layers, so it looks like a croissant. What is this? Actually, it's a cronut. It is a cronut, and we can put this in quotations because it's a new word. This bakery, the baker that made it, the patisserie chef, I think he's got patisserie chef, I mean, pastry chef, he created this new delicious breakfast food. In America, it's breakfast food. It's a cronut. It's a cronut. A cronut. A combination of croissant and donut and when it comes to foodies it is the hottest item in New York City so when it comes to foodies great expression when it comes to something when it comes to someone what does that mean when we're talking about foodies when we're considering foodies when we're thinking about foodies, when it comes to foodies, from the point of view of a foodie. Now, what is a foodie? We can say foodie, singular, plural, foodies. Foodie actually has a couple of possible definitions. It's possible to say someone who eats lots of food is a foodie. But usually, a foodie is someone who likes very special food. It must look very nice. It must be cooked very perfectly. It might be a very expensive food or a very rare or unique food. A foodie is someone who likes food and likes to try different kinds of foods. Some foodies are very picky. They like tomatoes, but they don't like tomato soup. They like ice cream, but they don't like milk. It's crazy. If you like ice cream, you should like milk. If you like tomatoes, you should like tomato soup. But some foodies don't. No, they're very particular. If you live with a foodie, if your husband or wife or son or daughter 
or mom or dad is a foodie, oh, it's very difficult because a foodie will often complain. Oh, this is too salty. Oh, it needs more pepper. Mmm, it's missing something. What is wrong? Foodies are very picky. They're very particular. But they do like great food. So if a foodie recommends something to you, you should probably listen to their advice and try the food. So in New York City, foodies love the cronut. It is, the cronut is the hottest item. And when we say hottest, it means the most popular item. And here, item is what? Food. The most popular food menu item in New York City. And look at the picture. Doesn't it look good? To me, it looks really delicious. But there's a problem. The problem is, if you want to have an original cronut, you must get in line at 6 a.m. in front of this bakery. And they only give you two cronuts, and they're expensive. So if you're at the end of the line, you might not get a krona. It's terrible. But it's, once again, the hottest item in New York City. Right now, it's very popular. So, if you are going to New York City, maybe this summer, for summer vacation, please try a krona and tell us, is it delicious or not? I think it probably will be delicious. Does it have a lot of calories? I'm sure it has a ton of calories. So this is the story, and once again, your dictation was fantastic. I'm very impressed, not too difficult. Let's say it together. Are you ready? We'll go at a slow pace. One, two, three. Is it a crunchy donut or a creamy croissant? Actually, it's a cronut. And when it comes to foodies, it's the hottest item in New York City. Was that speed okay? Can you get the intonation and the pronunciation? A little bit of expression? Now let's try it again a little bit faster. Are you ready? One, two, three. Is it a crunchy donut or a creamy croissant? Actually, it's a cronut. And when it comes to foodies, it's the hottest item in New York City. That's it. Too easy. Listen again and say it with the reporter. Is it a crunchy donut or a creamy croissant? Actually, it's a krona. And when it comes to foodies, it's the hottest item in New York City. We studied the entire news article in DDM. And it was a great lesson, very uh, good. Actually, the end of the lesson was very difficult for students to dictate, uh, but we managed to learn. And we learned a lot about delicious pastries and cakes and biscuits and what else? Cakes, biscuits, uh, croissants, pastries, donuts, many different types of baked goods. They're all delicious, but they're all a little bit different. So those are, we, we learn lots of things in DDM, and I do recommend that you join. Join DDM when you're ready. If you like DD, you'll love DDM. If you would like a free lesson, just send me an email. My email address is dailydictationmembers at gmail.com. If you send me an email, then I will send you a lesson, and if you like it, Join us. It's a lot of fun. Okay, that's it for DDM 40. Is it DD, DD for 240? 240. So many lessons. My goodness. How many of you have studied all 240 lessons? If, if you studied all 240, leave a message. Me. Me. Just me. Me is enough. Me. Me tells me that you studied 240. And it tells other people that you did too. That's outstanding. That's fantastic. That is impressive. I hope that you have learned a lot in these last 
240 lessons. Over a year now. Over about a year and a half. About a year and a half. And I'll keep doing it. Don't worry. That's it. Good luck on DD241. It's more difficult than this, I think. For some of you, it will be easy. But remember, a lot of you are really good, especially the students who have studied a long time. We always have new students who have a very difficult time. Don't worry. If you can't do the dictation, that's okay. I'll give you the answers. Then listen again. Can you hear it? Can you understand it? Perfect. Then, you're, then you've accomplished it. And we keep moving. We keep going step by step. We will improve your listening, your pronunciation, and your knowledge of English and culture. American culture and stuff like that. So that's it. Now I'll say goodbye, and I'll see you next lesson. Bye-bye.